The Goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox is a management and business novel that introduces the theory of constraints, TOC, a methodology for improving the performance of manufacturing and production systems. The story follows Alex Rogo, a plant manager at a struggling manufacturing company called Unico, as he grapples with various challenges and seeks to turn the company's performance around. The authors use a narrative approach to convey the key principles of TOC, making the concepts accessible and relatable to a wide range of readers. Throughout the book, they explore the idea that the ultimate goal of any manufacturing or production process is to make money. This central premise underscores the importance of identifying and addressing constraints or bottlenecks in a system to maximize profitability. Key takeaways and insights from the book include the theory of constraints, the primary concept introduced in the book is the theory of constraints, which posits that in any system, there is typically one or a few constraints that limit the overall output of the system. To improve the system's performance, it is crucial to identify and focus on these constraints. Identifying constraints Alex Rogo's journey to identify and address constraints in the Unico plant demonstrates the importance of keen observation and data analysis. The authors emphasize the need to understand not only the visible bottlenecks but also the less obvious constraints in a system. The importance of flow, the authors stress the significance of maintaining a smooth and uninterrupted flow of work through a system. They argue that focusing on local efficiencies rather than the overall flow can be counterproductive. Reducing work in process, the goal discusses the detrimental effects of excess work in process, WIP, on a system's performance. Managing and reducing WIP is crucial for improving system efficiency. Continuous improvement, the book advocates for a continuous improvement mindset and a focus on ongoing optimization. This approach helps businesses adapt to changing circumstances and remain competitive. The role of metrics, the authors emphasize the importance of using appropriate metrics to evaluate the performance of a system. Traditional cost-based accounting measures may not provide an accurate reflection of a system's efficiency. People and communication, the goal also underscores the significance of effective communication and collaboration among employees managers, and different departments within an organization. Aligning everyone with the common goal of making money and improving the system's performance is crucial. The authors aim to convey the message that the ultimate goal of any business or manufacturing process is to make money. They argue that the theory of constraints, as presented in the book, offers a systematic and practical approach to achieving this goal by identifying and addressing bottlenecks and continuously improving system performance. The goal emphasizes the importance of a holistic perspective, efficient flow, and data-driven decision-making while highlighting the value of communication and collaboration in achieving the desired results. 7 Lessons Learned from This Book The Primacy of Profitability the goal makes it clear that the ultimate objective of any business is to make money. While this may seem obvious, it is a reminder that every decision and action within an organization should be aligned with this central goal. By focusing on profitability, a business can maintain its long-term sustainability. Theory of Constraints TOC. The book introduces the theory of constraints as a powerful methodology for improving system performance. The lesson here is that businesses should actively identify and address constraints that hinder their operations. By doing so, they can unlock new levels of efficiency and profitability. Holistic Perspective The goal stresses the importance of taking a holistic view of the entire system rather than optimizing individual components in isolation. It teaches us that a local efficiency gain, if it doesn't improve the system as a whole, may not be as beneficial as it appears. Flow over inventory, the book emphasizes the need to prioritize the flow of work over the accumulation of excess inventory. This lesson underscores the idea that reducing work in process, WIP, can lead to more efficient operations, quicker response times, and ultimately higher profitability. Continuous improvement, 
A crucial lesson from the book is the value of continuous improvement. It encourages businesses to adopt a mindset of constant optimization and adaptation to remain competitive in a dynamic market environment. In other words, the quest for perfection is an ongoing process. Metrics that matter, the goal advocates for the use of appropriate performance metrics. It teaches us that relying on traditional cost-based accounting measures might not provide a complete picture of a system's efficiency. By choosing relevant and insightful metrics, businesses can better evaluate their performance and make informed decisions. People and collaboration, effective communication, collaboration, and alignment among all members of an organization are paramount. The book underscores that achieving the goal of making money and improving system performance requires the collective effort and understanding of everyone involved. It's not just about implementing methodologies but also about creating a shared vision and purpose within the organization. The goal offers several valuable lessons that can be applied to various industries and organizations. These lessons revolve around the overarching goal of making money the importance of the theory of constraints, taking a holistic perspective, prioritizing flow over inventory, continuous improvement, using meaningful metrics, and fostering effective collaboration. By applying these principles, businesses can enhance their efficiency and profitability, ensuring long-term success. The Goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox is a management and business novel that introduces the theory of constraints. TOC. While I can provide an overview of the book chapter by chapter, please note that the following summaries will not capture all the nuances and details contained in the book, but they should give you a good sense of the key points in each chapter. Chapter 1, The Boy Scouts. The novel begins with the protagonist, Alex Rogo, as a plant manager at Unico, a manufacturing company. Alex is facing a crisis as the division he manages is underperforming, and he is given an ultimatum to turn things around in three months. The chapter introduces the concept that the ultimate goal of any business is to make money. Chapter 2, What Are Your Constraints? Alex reflects on his situation and discusses his challenges with his old friend, Jonah, who is now a physics professor. Jonah introduces the idea that in any system, there is a constraint, a limiting factor that hinders the system from reaching its full potential. The main goal is to identify and address these constraints to improve the overall system's performance. Chapter 3, The Measurements Are The Measurements Alex's discussions with Jonah continue, and they delve into the concept of performance metrics. Jonah emphasizes that traditional cost-based accounting measures are often misleading and may not reflect a system's true efficiency. They discuss the importance of using meaningful metrics that align with the goal of making money. Chapter 4, Herbie. Alex takes his scouts and Jonah on a hike. During the hike, they encounter a constraint in the form of Herbie, the slowest hiker. This hike provides an analogy for identifying and managing constraints in a business. The key lesson is that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and constraints should be addressed strategically. Chapter 5, 6,000 Pieces Per Hour Back at the plant, Alex observes the production process and identifies the bottlenecks or constraints. He realizes that improving local efficiencies like speeding up non-bottleneck processes, does not necessarily enhance the overall system's performance. The chapter reinforces the need to focus on constraints to optimize the system. Chapter 6, What to Change Alex starts to understand the theory of constraints and seeks to implement changes in the plant. He recognizes that he must prioritize actions that will alleviate constraints and increase throughput. The chapter underscores the importance of taking a holistic view of the system and identifying which changes will have the most significant impact. Chapter 7, The Four Ways Jonah introduces the four ways to deal with constraints, strengthening the constraint, exploiting the constraint, subordinating everything else to the constraint, and elevating the constraint. 
these methods provide a systematic approach to improving the performance of the system. Alex begins to apply these principles to the plant's operations. Chapter 8, It's Not Logical Alex faces resistance from his team when he attempts to change the workflow based on the principles of TOC. The chapter highlights the challenges of implementing change in an organization and the need for effective communication and leadership. Chapter 9, The Haystack Syndrome Jonah explains the concept of the haystack syndrome, where people focus on finding the needle in the haystack instead of addressing the root causes of problems. He emphasizes that understanding the root causes of constraints is essential for sustained improvement. Chapter 10, Measurements Alex realizes that using the new performance measurements suggested by Jonah is causing confusion among his team. Jonah clarifies that the purpose of measurements is to facilitate the decision-making process, and they must be clear and relevant to the goal of making money. Chapter 11, How to Do It Alex and his team decide to reconfigure the production line to reduce setup times and improve flow. They apply the TOC principles to increase the capacity of the bottleneck. The chapter demonstrates how the theory of constraints can be practically applied to address real-world challenges. Chapter 12, Herbie's Success The changes made in the production process result in a significant improvement in throughput. The success story of addressing Herbie's constraint illustrates the power of the TOC methodology. The chapter shows that focusing on constraints can lead to measurable improvements in performance. Chapter 13, Confessions Alex's success in improving the plant's performance leads to a promotion, but he reflects on the sacrifices he made in his personal life. The chapter touches on the personal costs and trade-offs associated with managing constraints and achieving business goals. Chapter 14, The End The book concludes with Alex realizing that the principles of TOC can be applied to various aspects of life not just business. He reiterates the importance of focusing on constraints and having a clear goal in mind. In the goal, each chapter serves to reinforce the central ideas of the theory of constraints and how they can be applied in a practical context to enhance business performance. The book combines a fictional narrative with management philosophy to make the principles accessible and actionable for a wide audience. If you've found this summary of the goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox intriguing and thought-provoking, I strongly encourage you to explore the full book. The novel offers a unique blend of storytelling and valuable management insights that can be applied not only in business but also in various aspects of life. To dive deeper into the theory of constraints and its practical applications, I recommend getting a copy of the book through the link provided in the description. If you've enjoyed this book summary and found it useful, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends and colleagues who might also benefit from the knowledge and wisdom contained within the goal. Sharing is a fantastic way to spread the knowledge and foster discussions on these important topics. If you're hungry for more book summaries, insights, and recommendations in this category, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of knowledge and continue to receive enlightening summaries of other impactful books in the future. Your support allows us to keep bringing you valuable content and expanding your understanding of various subjects. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to sharing more enlightening content with you. The goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox distinguishes itself in several ways from other books in the business and management genre. It combines a fictional narrative with valuable management concepts, making it more engaging and relatable to a broad readership. Here are specific examples and quotes from the book to illustrate its unique qualities. Narrative Approach The goal is not a typical business textbook. It's a novel that tells the story of Alex Rogo, a plant manager, and his journey to improve the performance of his struggling manufacturing company. This narrative approach engages readers and allows them to relate to the characters and situations. For example, when Alex Rogo says, 
I'm not a believer in these work simplification techniques. All those business fads just seem like ways to make the people in the front lines work harder, it reflects the real world skepticism that many managers might have. Theory of Constraints The book introduces and elaborates on the theory of constraints, TOC, in a way that's both accessible and practical. TOC is a central concept and the book uses real-world examples within the narrative to explain how to identify constraints and improve a system's performance. For instance, when Jonah, the professor, says, remember the goal, make money, it encapsulates the core principle of TOC and sets the tone for the entire book. Holistic Perspective the goal emphasizes the importance of taking a holistic view of a system and not just optimizing individual components. The authors demonstrate this through Alex's realization that focusing on local efficiencies is counterproductive. For example, in the book, it's highlighted that, it's not the machine that's the constraint, it's Herbie. No matter what we do, he is going to be the bottleneck. Combination of theory and practice, the book not only presents the theory but also illustrates how it can be applied in practice. It follows Alex's journey as he identifies and addresses constraints, making the concepts actionable. The example of how they reconfigure the production line to reduce setup times and improve flow provides a tangible demonstration of the theory in action. Human Element The goal recognizes the importance of the human element in management and change. It delves into the challenges Alex faces when implementing changes in the plant including resistance from his team. This human aspect is a critical differentiator from purely theoretical business books. Clear and Relevant Metrics The book stresses the need for using clear and relevant metrics that align with the goal of making money. This contrasts with books that may rely on traditional but less informative accounting measures. The authors provide a clear example of how traditional cost-based accounting can be misleading. The goal distinguishes itself by combining a compelling narrative with practical management concepts, emphasizing a holistic perspective, and addressing the human element in change management. It also provides clear and actionable guidance on performance metrics and offers a refreshing departure from traditional business texts. These unique qualities make the goal a valuable resource for those seeking to improve their understanding of management and business efficiency. The goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox stands out in the business and management genre for its unique blend of narrative storytelling and practical management theory. It's part of a larger body of work by Goldratt, often collectively referred to as the Theory of Constraints series. Here's a comparison of the goal with other books in the same genre, and a highlight of what makes it unique or similar. Unique Approach versus Traditional Business Texts unique, the goal is unique in its storytelling approach. It uses a fictional narrative to convey management concepts, making it more engaging and relatable. Similar, traditional business texts often present theories and concepts in a more formal, academic style, lacking the storytelling and character-driven approach of the goal. Theory of Constraints, TOC, series by Goldratt. Unique. While Goldratt's TOC principles are found throughout his works, The Goal is the most famous and approachable book in the series. It focuses on practical implementation and is written as a novel. Similar, other books in the series, like Critical Chain and Necessary but Not Sufficient, delve deeper into specific aspects of TOC, but they all share the common thread of applying the theory to real-world scenarios. Lean and Six Sigma Literature Unique, the goal differentiates itself from many Lean and Six Sigma books by providing a broader perspective and focusing on the theory of constraints, which complements these methodologies but offers a distinct approach. Similar, Lean and Six Sigma Literature often emphasizes process improvement, waste reduction, and efficiency, similar to the goals in the goal. Narrative Management Books Unique, the goal is unique in its focus on a continuous narrative throughout the book, allowing readers to follow the journey of the protagonist and the application of management principles. Similar, other narrative management books, 
such as Who Moved My Cheese? by Spencer Johnson, use stories to convey management lessons, but they may not delve as deeply into the practical application of principles. Holistic and Systems Thinking Literature Unique, the goal specifically emphasizes the importance of holistic and systems thinking when improving processes and achieving business goals. Similar, other books on systems thinking, like The Fifth Discipline by Peter Senge, also stress the value of seeing the bigger picture but may not focus as exclusively on constraint-based improvement. The goal is unique in the way it combines a narrative approach with practical management theory, making it accessible to a wide range of readers. While it shares some commonalities with other management literature, its emphasis on the theory of constraints and holistic perspective sets it apart. Goldratt's other works in the TOC series complement the goal by diving deeper into specific aspects of TOC, offering a comprehensive resource for those interested in constraint-based management principles. The goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox is appealing and relevant to a wide range of listeners because it addresses universal challenges and aspirations, particularly in the context of business, management, and problem-solving. Here's why this book would resonate with various individuals at different life stages and facing distinct challenges. Business Professionals and Managers Relevance For business professionals and managers, the book offers practical insights into improving operational efficiency, managing constraints, and achieving profitability. Challenges It helps them address the challenges of meeting production goals, reducing costs and ensuring the success of their organizations. Entrepreneurs and Startups Relevance Entrepreneurs can benefit from the book's principles to optimize their operations, reduce waste, and drive profitability from the early stages of their business. Challenges Startups often face resource constraints and need to maximize their limited resources. The goal provides guidance on how to do so effectively. Students and Academics Relevance The book can be relevant to students and academics studying operations management, business, or engineering, as it provides a real-world application of management theory. Aspirations It helps them understand how to bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical implementation. Individuals seeking personal improvement Relevance the book's principles of continuous improvement and goal-setting are applicable to personal development, helping individuals achieve their personal and professional goals. Challenges It addresses the challenge of setting and achieving objectives efficiently and effectively. Those interested in business strategy and efficiency. Relevance For those intrigued by business strategy and efficiency. The book offers a unique perspective on the theory of constraints and how to identify and address bottlenecks. Aspirations It appeals to individuals seeking to enhance their understanding of how organizations can improve processes and systems. Managers of all levels Relevance From frontline supervisors to top executives, the goal provides valuable insights for managers at all levels helping them understand how to manage constraints and make their organizations more competitive. Challenges Managers often deal with challenges related to resource allocation, productivity, and achieving strategic objectives, which the book addresses. Problem Solvers and Innovators Relevance The book appeals to individuals who enjoy problem solving and innovation, as it demonstrates how to analyze and optimize complex systems. Aspirations, it offers a structured approach to tackling challenges and improving processes, which can benefit anyone looking to solve problems more effectively. The goal is a versatile and relevant book that addresses a variety of life stages, challenges, and aspirations. It provides practical guidance on improving operations, managing constraints, and achieving goals, making it an appealing choice for those interested in business, management, and personal development. Whether you're a seasoned professional, a student, an entrepreneur, or someone looking to enhance problem-solving skills, the book offers valuable insights and a structured approach to success. In conclusion, 
The Goal by Aliyah M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox is a significant and impactful book that has resonated with a diverse audience over the years. Its unique blend of narrative storytelling and practical management theory sets it apart in the world of business literature. By focusing on the theory of constraints and the overarching goal of making money, it offers readers a clear and actionable path to improving operational efficiency, solving complex problems, and achieving success in both professional and personal endeavors. This book has the power to inspire individuals at various life stages and across different fields. It addresses the common challenges we all face, whether in business or our personal lives, and equips us with valuable tools for overcoming them. The goal encourages a holistic perspective, a continuous improvement mindset, and a focus on the most critical aspects of any system or endeavor. Its significance lies in the enduring relevance of its principles which remain applicable in a rapidly changing world. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the goal reminds us to keep our ultimate objectives in sight, identify and manage constraints effectively, and strive for continuous improvement. Its impact is not limited to business, it extends to how we approach problem solving, goal setting, and optimization in various aspects of life. This book is not just a management classic. It is a guide to achieving our goals and making the most of our resources, no matter where our journey takes us. I appreciate your interest in the book summary, and I'd like to hear your feedback. Please feel free to share your thoughts and comments on the summary of the goal by Elia M. Goldratt and Jeff Cox. Your feedback is valuable in helping me refine my approach and ensuring that I provide content that meets your expectations. Whether you have suggestions for improvement, specific points you found valuable, or any other insights, I'm eager to hear from you. Thank you for taking the time to provide your feedback.